guys it's lotus beauty life coming back at you i know you guys have been wondering where have i been well i have a long story to tell you but i'm gonna keep it very short because i know that i want to make sure that this video is not like super long because i have tons of stuff to show you but first and foremost i would like to say hi to all of my new subscribers i love the fact that having new subscribers because that just keeps me motivated to bring out new videos and just know that it is some people out here that love to see me but um where i've been um basically i first want to say i'm sorry that i basically went on a hiatus but your girl was super super busy between doing schoolwork and my regular job um but anyway that's no excuse for me not being in touch with you guys but one thing i can tell you is that i have tons and tons of things to show you here as you can see and i don't know if you guys can see my dog mimi i'm sorry for her too she she when she gets a moment to actually see how mommy sits down she basically wants me to rub her but she's going away anywho um most of these things here are from my birthday my birthday just passed and i'm super excited to be able to bring these things to you guys so i'm going to get right on into it um but one thing i do want to tell you is that if you see anything here just drop a line below or give me a thumbs up if you want to see any reviews on any of these items but anywho let's get on to it um i'm gonna start with this bag right here i don't know if you guys um saw it um while i was talking but i picked up some things from um bloomingdale's um just small things not major major um thing like major large things or whatever um <clears throat> but let me just get it on that what's in the bag i know you're like toya just go ahead and want to say a short scoops in the bag but anywho i picked up some products from this company called nest um, I have a candle and I also have a diffuser, which I started using because I just was, I just couldn't hold on any longer because the scent on these items, they're both the same um, scent, which is a jasmine black currant um, scent is just amazing. When I say amazing, you guys, this candle right here is, let's see, I think it's 32 ounces or something like that. Let me see if it tells me. It's. It's 8.1 ounces, which is 230 grams. It's in a black currant scent. It smells like fresh summer, almost. It's, it's black currant. It smells like a fruit. It smells refreshing, divine to me. I don't know, whatever. It's hard to describe scents sometimes um, for people to understand what the actual um, aroma is. But on the back of the box, it says that it is um, a chanting plum, fig, and sandalwood. So if you all are familiar with those scents are, whether they're together or apart, then you know what black currant smells like. It's, it's, it's just absolutely amazing. When I smell it, it just opens up. Um, my senses and that's why i bought it and i loved it so much i bought it in the diffuser as you can see and also in a candle but i also bought oh and i want to show you something i don't know if y'all guys can see it but this this actually has a nice design on the actual um candle holder that actually holds the candle which is also pretty and this candle in this size was 38 dollars which is a very reasonable price compared to the other candles that you can see on my previous videos like Joe Malone, which is more like in the range of fifty dollars to seventy five dollars. I think the black the black um limited edition is actually eighty five dollars. The diffuser here is five point nine ounces and one hundred and seventy four milliliters. It's really cute. It comes with the same kind of design on it. Um. I'll show you if you guys want to see this just drop me a line below and i'll show you the actual bottle and all of that stuff and give you a review on it and i can give you a full um review on exactly what this product 
is, how it smelled, how it held up, you know, that kind of thing. But I'm going to move right off the show, as I said. Um, this is another product that I purchased. This is a Huckleberry, San Diego, Santiago Huckleberry, which is a, and it's from a different, this is from Bo, Bola, Bola Spa. I bought this in a candle and the candle and diffuser as well. And this is even more reasonable than the other other item because this candle is, they actually covered the, it's 12 ounces, 340 grams, and it's, it was only 20 bucks. Now, this particular scent is vanilla sugar cane and ripe huckleberry. It's just so sweet, succulent. And it just makes me just want something like makes me want fruit actually. And so if you if you are in love with vanilla, you will really love this because it has a hint of vanilla in it as well. But it also reminds me of all the berries. It reminds me of raspberry, blueberry, and just how they smell when you kind of when they're being like smushed almost. It's just so it's so lovely. The next item. I want to show you this, you guys. This camera is actually the camera that I'm shooting with you right now. Um, I'm trying it out, <laughs> and I'm actually liking it. It's a newer version of my old camera, and I'm so happy to have this because finally I'm able to shoot my reviews out to you guys with me in front of the camera instead of me holding the cell phone like I have in so many other reviews. So I don't know if you guys are happy about that, but I'm ecstatic. Very, very, very so much so. So I love that. And this right here was actually a gift from um, my family, my sister, my mom, which is whoop, whoop, whoop. I'm so happy that they got it for me. So I'm happy about that, as you can all see. And another thing, talking about them that I got was I got these a little earlier than um than than my birthday. Um, I wasn't expecting them. It wasn't something that I asked for. It was just some one of those kind of things they knew that I really liked them. So they picked them up for me. And this is the Jordan. I think. Let me see if it says on here. I think these are the tens, if I'm not mistaken. I love tennis shoes. I'm more of a tennis shoe kind of girl, although I have a lot of heels, um, luxury heels and normal um, heels. But I'm more so, I'll grab a pair of sneakers in a minute and put them on with sweats. I love that. As you can see, I'm not even, like, super dressed up right now. Um, but anywho, these are those. And as you can see, my feet are, like, super tiny. I'm super in love with this color. I think it's going to be awesome to wear this fall. Um, and cannot wait to wear these. Um, I'm just going to show you this bag. I'm not really going to show what's in it because I feel like this stuff is a little bit more intimate. But um, these are just some items that I picked up from Dickies um, that I purchased. I had, like, a little discount card that they gave me for my birthday. Whoop, whoop. So I decided to use that, and I bought um, one or two items here. Um... That's all I can say about that. So, um, I'm going to hold this, hold the best for last, of course. So, we're going to set these over here on the side. And as you guys know, I love Sephora. I always go in there. I always purchase things. I get tons and tons and tons of stuff from them. Um, so, I went in Sephora and I purchased some things. A couple of my friends gave me cash, which is what I asked for, um, and I used that towards this purchase, um, and these particular items were something that I was looking at. I already had some, um, but I wanted something that was going to last a long time and it had better quality, so I picked a few of these Sephora um, Pro brushes up, and I think I, I bought like 10 different ones. So, but a combination of face brushes and eyeshadow brushes. Um, I had a couple that I already purchased separately um, prior to purchasing these, and I really liked the, the upkeep on those, and also I like the handles and things. So I decided to invest um, in a full set 
So I took all of the money that I got from my friends and I purchased these brushes. Um, again, if you're interested in finding out a little bit more about these and how, you know, and how I felt about actually using these and or cleaning these or how to use or whatever, just drop a line below and I'll make sure that I'll get something out for you guys. Um, let me see. I don't... So that was that in that bag. Now, for this bag, and I know you guys are like, oh, please open the bag, please open the bag. This is um some items. One of these items was just a replacement for um, an item that got damaged that I had to replace. And so I replaced them with this and I replaced it around this time. And then another item is something that I saw while replacing the other item. So I picked it up because I'm just absolutely obsessed with these kind of items. Anyway, anywho, this was my actual first purchase from the Chanel, from the actual Chanel boutique. I went to the Chanel boutique in Virginia in the Tyson's Galleria. And when I went in, I was looking to just replace my sunglasses. And I know you guys are wondering why it's not all wrapped up and all goody, goody, goody. The reason why is because I tried to do this video for you guys, this unboxing for you guys once before. And my camera died in the way. So halfway through the video, I got one half with some of the things done and the other half was not. And all of it was actually done. So, anywho, that's why it's not, you know, wrapped up in all the lacing and, and bows and whistles. But here's the Chanel, you know, string that it came with. And this is the little Chanel um, receipt for these two items that I purchased. And let me show you guys the, this is the box. And then this is what it came with. This is the, you know, case or whatever. It's really nice. And these are the frames. I don't know if you guys can see. And just as the old ones that I have, I don't know if you watched any of my other videos, but it has that Swansky crystal on it. And these are actually replacing those ones because what happened was is the arm had gotten loose and I took it back to Nordstrom's where I purchased those from and the young lady could not replace them for me. So I had to and they no longer had them and neither did Chanel. So I waited for some time and when I actually got a chance to go to the Chanel store, I was able to get these. And let me show you what these guys look like on me, which is absolutely divine. What y'all think? I hope y'all love them because I do. Um, anywho, back to business. The young lady there that was helping me, I can't remember what her name is. She's absolutely adorable and so nice. She actually slipped this in as well. And it's basically, I don't know if you guys will see, but it has, I think the spring collection. Yeah, I think this is the spring collection um, or fall collection of this year, 2015. Um, and it actually has, oh, it says 2014 on it. But it has all of the, it has photos of models with the actual designs. And then it has the actual copies of the designs that um, Lieberfeld, Paul Lieberfeld, actually drew for this collection, which is absolutely adorable. So I'm glad to have that. I think what I might do, because... I love stuff like this is I may actually take some of the stuff out of here and put it in some frames and hang it up in my office to decorate my office. <clears throat> but anywho, the next thing is this item. This is 
from the perfume collection, the Premier Perfume Collection, which is like um, a limited edition. They had this displayed in the um, Chanel boutique, so I went over there while I was waiting for her to locate these um, glasses in the store. I went in, was just testing out some perfume that they had, and I came across this scent, which is the Jersey scent, and it's in Day Toilette. And let me see if I can get a size for you guys. Um, this is 2.5, 2.5 ounces, um, 75 milliliters. And this is one of, as I said, this is a part of the limited edition. And this, this scent reminds me of this very fresh, young, vibrant, a little floral, almost. And if you know anything about, um, and it has a magnetic um, top too, which is neat. Kind of like reminds me of like the, um, the snacks on the Chanel bags, but um, the scent is called Jersey. But um, it reminds me of a younger, a younger Coco Chanel. Say that I got tons of stuff to go over, so I'm gonna move on. Um, we have these items. Now, I think I want to do this bag right here first. All of these are part of the Louis Vuitton. I know you're familiar. I know you can see this right here. Um, but I got this item first, and this item is a little bit different than what's in the bag. And some of the things that's in the bag actually goes along with this item. So I'm going to start with this. I already pre-opened it. That's because I wanted to do some, you know, examination of the actual item. It's not new, um, which is actually what I really wanted. I always wanted this to be something that was vintage, something that somebody didn't kind of like roughed up a little bit. I like um, when some items from Lloyd's Louis Vuitton is had that rough, uh, worn, um, distressed look. Uh, you know, I'm not one of those kind of people that need everything new. So I purchased this item prior to my birthday um, because I got it at a super, super good deal. I used the trusty app off of my iPhone. It was my first purchase from them. And I can honestly say that it was a really good experience. If you guys want to know about that, just drop me a line below. But, um, anywho, I got this from a um, seller on, on the Trusty app. And let me show you guys what it is. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. It is a size 50 keep all. And as you can see, it's been used. Probably beat up more than most people would like, but I absolutely love the fact that it's beat up like this. Because now I'm not so, I won't baby it as much because I know that it can take a licking. And it has taken a licking, which is good for me. But as you can see, this particular item is missing some things. So, because I got it at such a great price, I was able to replace those items, which is in some of these bags in here. Um, but I actually got this item um, for, I think, $300, which if you know anything about Louis Vuitton, you're not going to buy anything like this in this size at $300. Um, so, it was a super good deal. Um, it is 100% authentic, as you can see, and you can see all of the lettering and everything is properly where it should be, and the, the actual seller went to this particular place called Authenticate First, and actually got my item authenticated. And this is the certificate she sent along with this item. Um, 
The only thing, my only downfall that from buying this item that I noticed is that it had a little scent with it. I guess it was because this item was held in a basement or something or something because it had some water um, water damage to it, which is fine because that actually tells the history of the bag. Um, but, you know, so I had a little scent to it, but I sprayed some of my perfume that I have in it and was able to flip it inside out and kind of get it to, like aired out. That's another reason why I, you know, I opened it back up. Um, so, and everything is great. The handles feel amazing. But, so, I'm happy, super, super happy about this. And cannot wait to use it for vacation. Um, and while I'm talking about this item, let me show you some of the other items that I got for this. I got this. See, and the Louis Vuitton dust bag with the actual thing. I'm gonna put this down here. So, you ready? I got the strap for it, and on my actual strap because I know I'm not taking it back. And I'm gonna have this bag forever more and probably pass it down to my kids. I have no plans on selling any of my items. I got it monogrammed on the side where you can see my name, LCT. I got it on both sides. And I absolutely, uh, upside down, absolutely cannot wait for it to patina like the rest of the bag. So I cannot wait for that to happen. So, and you just put this on like this. Now, I have that part of the bag ready. And I cannot wait to go on vacation so I can use it. And I also got, this came with the actual bag. <clears throat> but as you can see, it's broken. It's like a little latch piece. I guess it, it got snatched or something. But she was nice enough to actually put it in there with you know, what I had, and I planned on keeping it. I don't know exactly yet what I'm going to do with it, but I'm going to find something creative to do with this um, because it is nice weather, and I'm I'm not, not willing to just throw it in the trash. So that'd be that. <clears throat> right? Um, I'm going to just move on to the next item that I purchased, which is this. And I've been wanting this particular item because I needed something for work. To be able to put my credit card because I'm not I don't have a locker at work so I needed something to keep my ID and my credit card and money for lunch if I don't bring my lunch so I purchased this particular item and at first I was hesitant to buy it because I did not know if it would carry if it would carry as much stuff as I needed so I went in I looked up some videos and looked at some of my favorite people that I love their unboxing, which is BMW AH, um, who I absolutely love his videos. He actually did on he did like a, a what can fit into this particular item. So, and that's what actually encouraged me to buy it um, and actually make this purchase. So, absolutely, absolutely, absolutely. <clears throat> I'm so happy that I purchased it now. And that would be yes, this coin purse or key. They call this a clay, which he said that it's French for a key. So this is a key, you know, a, a clay pouch. So it would be a key pouch. And basically, you can put your keys on the key holder and stick it in here, which I'm going to use it a little different. I'm going to use it more so as an item to store, like I said, my credit cards, my ID, my money for lunch. And I'm just going to put my car keys and stuff on here, and it'll be easy to fit into my scrub pants and stuff, you know, because it's so dainty and so cute, of course. Um, and this print is the um, Damier Ben print which this would be like my second item in this print 
So I'm just trying to build that collection. I would like to get a couple more items in this print because it's growing on me. I love monogram a little bit better. I'm more of a monogram kind of girl, but the dummy head bin is cute too. Um, the one, one print that I'm not too crazy about is the light colored one like this because of the whole transfer phenomenon. And I feel like, you know, these products are just way too precious and wonderful for, you know, jean marks and things to be all over them. But some people, they they don't, they don't mind that. And that's okay too. To each his own. Um, so that's that. Now, with this other item in here, it's a, it's a nice backstory that goes with this. It wasn't my first choice. It wasn't something that I was choosing to, that I was actually looking to buy. I was actually looking to buy a Chanel bag. Um, I actually, I wanted to buy the Chanel boy, but unfortunately, I, um, I waited too long to make up my mind, so it was sold. Um, but that's not here nor there because I, you know, I was walking around Neiman Marcus, and went into their Louis Vuitton flagship store and saw this particular item. But I did not purchase this particular item from that store. I actually went to my sales rep, um, Alan, who is in the Louis Vuitton in Bloomingdale's um, on the other side of the mall because his service is phenomenal. Their service is phenomenal. And I purchased with him. Um, if you guys are ever in the Virginia area and you shop Louis Vuitton, definitely go down there and give him, um, you know, a ring or whatever. And he will try his very best to get you whatever you need. He has phenomenal service. All of them in there are wonderful. Um, I can't speak enough about them. We actually have a store here in Maryland because that's where I'm at. I actually go all the way down there to um, purchase all of my items because of the fact that their service is so phenomenal. And not to mention, it's in Bloomingdale, so it gives me another reason to look around another store and shop, which is wonderful also. But anywho, I'm not going to take more, any more of you guys' time. I'm going to show you this baby. She is absolutely amazing. She comes in this box right here, which I don't have a box this size. So, I'm excited about that, which says Louis Vuitton. And this is her. This is her receipt that in here. And as you can see, she was $2,500. And this is called the Mezzarine. It's in the PM size, and he taped it down so it'll be snug in here. And I want you to see the top first. As you can see, it's in that Amperant leather in Nior with the gold hardware. And there she is. This is her. I'm in love with her. She's so beautiful. She has the two D rings on the side because it's a strap that also comes with it. And I don't know if you guys can see. You can see Louis Vuitton Paris right here in the front. But behind these two, inside this bag, you can double open it like that. It has two magnetic pieces here and here. And as you can see, this is a strap that also has the two um, gold pieces of hardware on it. And I want you guys to see, this is this tissue paper, but it comes with the Umpirod, um Care Mangle. And just if you guys are interested in purchasing this item, this is the information for it. And it has some two textile cards here that just tells you the exterior of the bag. 
And we're going to put this back in here so we can find somewhere to put it. This is the size of the inside. And as you can see here, it was made in France and Paris, which was wonderful. And what else? What else? What else? What else? And the pulls and you pull it like this closed and you snap it here so it'll be totally closed and wear it as a top handle or you can put the straps on here and wear it as a crossbody or you can wear it on one shoulder like this I don't know if you guys can see it but it'll be hanging like this or you can put it like this. Wear it like that. So I'm absolutely excited. Oh, and it has four feet on the bottom with a double um, reinforcement at the bottom. So it's absolutely sturdy and it's a very structured bag. Which I absolutely love because it's like hard. I don't know what this is. What did I do right there? Oh, it must have had something on it. But anyway. Um... Yeah, so I'm super excited about wearing this. But I got two more items that I need to show you. So I can't like ramble on and on and on about this bag. But I will if you guys want me to. Just drop me a line below and I'll do. I'll be like super excited to do a review on this baby right here. Cannot wait. Um, But these other two items are just one item with an actual gift from one of my near and dear friends. Cheryl, I know you watch these videos. So, I'm a, I, yes, I put this on here. Um, and the other item was just something that was not something that I was looking to get, but then it turned into something I was looking to get. Um, <clears throat> so, I'm going to go right on into this item first. This was a gift from my girl Cheryl. She purchased it from me. She knows that I love this um, particular um, designer. This is not really a color that I would really do, but I know it's a color that she absolutely would do. Her and my girl Pam, y'all gotta check out Pam's videos. She's also a YouTuber on here. Um, Pamela McNeil, I think is what it's under. Um, but anywho, she, these are two colors that they, this is two colors that they absolutely rave about, they love. Um, so she felt, felt like I needed it in my collection. I'm sure that's what she was thinking. So she purchased it. Um, and that is this little baby here. I know you guys are wondering, like, where is the lipstick at? That looks like a sample size. But actually, this is the size for this particular collection, which is the boy collection. And this particular item is actually a relaunch. They launched this collection last year around the same time. Um, and this color, Roy, number 36, actually sold out. So they relaunched it this year. And it's in the zero in the point zero seven ounce, which is two grams. Which I'm gonna actually show you up against the other color I got. Because you can so you can see the difference. Which is the what they consider the full size, which is point one ounce which is three grams in full size. This particular item um, <clears throat> is it's, it's cute. It's really cute. It comes in the same packaging, just in a smaller size. It's a part of the boy collection, if I didn't already mention. And let me show you guys what the actual color looks like. This is the color. I don't know if you guys can see it. Let me dab it on my on my actual hand so you guys can see it goes on super smooth that's the actual color and as you can see because i tried to do a test of the other color as well but i had to probably redo it but this is the color of that and it's pretty it's really pretty and i talked to the sales rep because i kind of knew she was going to purchase me this 
So I talked to the sales rep and she said that I could actually wear this on top or with other colors and mix it in and that she's seen it before and it's very beautiful. So I'm super excited to try that, try though that combination out, um, the combinations out um, with this because I own quite a few um, Tom Ford um, lipsticks. Now, for the other item, which is the last item I have for my birthday haul, uh, but it's not the least item that I have. I absolutely am happy that I got this particular item. Um, and this is a part of the MAC, the MAC collection of Tom Ford. The color is called Ruby Rush, and it's in the number, it's number seven Ruby Rush of the MAC collection. I got this after my after my birthday it was intended for my birthday i really was looking for a real um mac color i have the color ruby blue and mac that i absolutely love um but when you have i don't you know some guys some people probably experience this some may have not but over time i having you know the ruby blue on my lips feels like cray paper. It's super matted, you know, mattified, which is wonderful. It looks beautiful on my skin, especially for an evening um, event. But um, I I can't feel like cray paper after having lipstick on for two and three hours. So I was looking for something else to that had that matte look, but could um not make my lips feel like gray paper so i went to tom ford intending on finding something and i came upon this color and let me show you the box it's just like this just like the other like roy but just in a larger selection this is the color and i'm gonna show you guys how smooth this is and why I didn't buy it right then and there is because I thought that it was too smooth and I felt like it wasn't as mattifying as the Ruby Woo. And I thought that it would, you know, it was going to be shiny, so I didn't purchase it. And then I walked around, uh, I tried it on, I walked around the mall for some, while, uh, for some time, thought about it, had got quite a bit of comments from the color. A lot of people thought that it looked very amazing on me. So, I was like, okay, I'm going to purchase this item. And then, before I can get back over there, the store closed. So, unfortunately, I wasn't able to wear it for my actual birthday, um, which was fine. But I knew that I needed to get this particular color. Which, I was in luck because after my birthday, I went and purchased it. And it was actually running some kind of promotion. So, I was able to get triple points or double points or something like that. Um which was a plus so i got a two for one is what i would think you know i got more points you know for my membership card and i was able to get the lipstick that i absolutely fell in love with and i know that it's a color that i like so i won't be taking it back so that is like all a woman can ask for but anywho that's all of my things that I got for my birthday and I hope you guys enjoyed seeing all of those things and if it's any of these items that you want me to do a review on or you want more information on please drop me a line um if you guys want a review of any of these items just give me a thumbs up and if you love seeing all of my items and you love seeing all of the things that I purchased and you want to see more of me and you want to just kick it with me um, and you want me to keep doing these videos, please subscribe because I'm always looking for new subscribers. I love getting new subscribers just like I told you at the beginning of the video. Um, Y'all motivate me. I hope you got, I hope I motivate you guys. And I think that's about it. So, as always, kisses at you. Mwah, 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 mwah. From Lotus Beauty Life. Bye-bye.